Hi everybody, welcome back to my latest video. So in this video, I'm going to cover on how you should maneuver yourself in the latest mainnet. So before we begin, let me just show you some of the new features that you'll be seeing here. Firstly, you will notice that the name has been changed to new core mainnet and the word beta is stated here because currently now we're under the beta version for at least a week or so before the developers iron out all the teething problems that we're going to have. Okay. Next, you will notice that the address here has no DDK in front anymore. So please take note whenever you send coins or when you want to refer someone, okay, whenever you see this, copy out just the numbers, no DDK in front. Okay. Next, click on blockchain. The time stamped on the latest block here should correspond with the current time. Okay. So let me just refresh the page. Yep. So it's 12.30 and it's 12.30 now. So that will indicate to you that the blocks are running. This is the latest block. So if you click on that, you notice there are 14 transactions captured by this block. And these are the various transactions. Okay. And the fees involved as well and the time so that's how you check your transactions next click on stake to know when is the next vote look at your next vote milestone so in this case it's long overdue All right so you know that you can start voting for this two account for this account sorry next click on delegates scroll down now for every group there will have their own voting strategy. So I'm just going to touch on the strategy given to us by GFA where three names have been given out. Search for the three names. So the first name that we have been given was Crypto Experts, second was KDD4U and the third would be the TD that has been helping you out. So all those stakeholders under my care would vote for me. TD047 underscore Davio. Click on that, scroll up, click vote, place your passphrase, and click vote. All right, scroll up, click on my vote, and you see the three names have been voted. And you can only vote those people once. You can't vote them again. Let me just show you. As you can see, my name here. You can't vote that anymore, but you can vote for the other people. Okay, now when you go to stake again, refresh the page, you notice the dates have been changed as well. So the next vote would be seven days later. And the vote count from 12 has gone up to 13, and this has gone from 8 to 9. That's how you check it. Thank you very much.